head to bed, Nana. I will go to bed. Liza, it isn't six o'clock yet, is it? Yes. Nana, do I have to go to bed? Liza, we're pretending we're mother and father and we're going to the ball tonight. Come play. Always playing games. I have much more important things to do than play at make-believe and dancing. One, two, three, one, two, three. Auntie John. Oh, mother, mother. wonderful. Why, thank you. Oh, what are you doing in my old hat? We're doing an act. We're playing as you and father. I'm father. <clears throat> a little less noise there. A little less noise. <laughs> father, they never let me play father. They never let me dance. Well, we'll soon fix that. May I have the honor of this dance, Mr. Darling? One, two, three, 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 one. You dance quite beautifully, Mr. Darling. Mother! Mother! Oh, there you are, Mary. What's the matter, George, dear? Matter? This tie, it will not tie round my neck. Tie the round the bedpost, oh dear, yes, but not round my neck. It begs to be excused. Say it again, father, say it again. A little less noise there. <laughs> now I warn you of this, mother. If this tie does not go round my neck, you and I will not go out to dinner tonight. And if you and I don't go out to dinner tonight, I will not go back into the office. And if I don't go back into the office, you and I will starve and our children be thrown into the streets. <gasps> Let me try. Come on, Come on mother. mother. You can do it. You're so close. Come, Come on, on, mother. Come on. You can do it. Yay! I won't take a bath, Nana. I won't. Go be bathed at once, sir. You too, Michael. Stop that nonsense. Clumsy, clumsy. Hair all over my trousers. Let me brush you off. You know, at times, I think it's a mistake to have a dog for a nurse. Why, George, Nana's a treasure. No doubt, but at times, I feel that she views our children as her very own puppies. Well, George, we must keep Nana. I'll tell you why. My dear, when I came into this room tonight, I saw a face at the window. A face at the window? Two floors up? It was the face of a little boy. He was trying to get in. Impossible. Well, that's not the first time I've seen him. Oh. Uh -huh. The first time was about a week ago. I remember because it was Nana's night off. I was sitting by the fire, and then I suddenly felt a draft as though the window were open. I looked around in the room, and I saw that boy standing right in front of me. I screamed. Just then, Nana came in and sprang at him at once. The boy leapt for the window. Nana closed the windows quickly, but it was already too late. I thought so. But wait, the boy had time to escape, but his shadow hadn't time to get out. I hit it. I rolled it up, and here it is. Doesn't look like anyone we know, though he sure does look like a scoundrel. You know, I think he tries to come back for his shadow. I dare say. Well, wait, I haven't told you all. The boy was not quite alone that night. He was accompanied by, a, I don't know how to describe it, a ball of light no bigger than my fist that darted around the room like a living thing. That is very unusual. What can all this mean, George? What indeed? Well, what have we there, Nana? Ah, oh, the medicine spoon, of course. I don't take it! Oh, no! Boo! Now then, Michael, be a man. Won't, won't! I'll give you a lovely stick of candy to take after it. Mother, don't pamper him. Michael, Michael, when I was your age, I used to take my medicine without a murmur. I used to say, Thank you, kind mother and father, for giving me my medicine that makes me well. And, as an example to you, I would take my medicine now, only I've, uh, I've lost the bottle. I know where it is, father. I'll bring it. Wendy, John, it's the hard stuff, the sticky sweet kind. It'll be over soon, father. I've been as quick as I could. Oh, yes, you have. You've been wonderfully quick, precious quick. Michael? You will see how father takes it. Michael first. Father first. It'll make me sick, you know. I thought.
thought you said you took it quite easily, Father. That's not the point. The point is that there's much more in my glass than there is in Michael's spoon. And that's just not fair. Come on, Father. A little less noise there. Father, I'm waiting. You're waiting? What about me? I'm waiting. Father's a scaredy cat. Father's not a scaredy cat. Well, then take it. Well, then you take it. Why not both take it at the same time? Certainly. Ready, Michael? One, two. You know, Michael, I don't think you're going to take yours after all. I am, I am. One, two, three. Father didn't take his. <laughs> oh, Father. What do you mean by, oh, Father? Stop that row, Michael. I meant to take it. I just missed it. Well, was it all over? Yes, it's all over and quite satisfactory. Father did it. Shh. Father did it what? Oh, nothing, dear. Nothing at all. Again, hair all over my trousers. Clumsy, clumsy. Your place is downstairs. Oh, Father, she's crying. Well, go on. Coddle her. Nobody ever coddles me. I'm the only breadwinner in the family. Why should I be coddled? Why, why, why? George, not so loud. The servants will hear you. Let the whole world know. I refuse to let that dog blurt in my nursery for one hour longer. No, why, no! Am I the master in this house, or is she? Remember what I told you about that boy. Come on, Nana. Come, Nana. Dear Nana. Nice, Nana. Gotcha. Be brave, my dears. He's chaining Nana up. She's awfully unhappy. That's not the bark she makes when she's unhappy. That's the bark she makes when she smells danger. Danger? Wendy, are you sure? Yes, Mother. Is everything all right? It's all quiet and still. Can anything harm us, Mother, after the nightlights are lit? Nothing, precious. There are the eyes a mother leaves behind to guard her children. Now, into your all's beds and sing your good night song. asleep. Dear nightlights that protect my sleeping children, burn clear and steadfast tonight.
Tinkerbell! Tink! Where are you? Oh, well, there you are, Tink. Do come out of that jug. Do you know where they put it? Over there, but this drawer. Oh, my shadow. I shall stick you on the soap. What's your name? Wendy Moira Angela Darling. What's your name? Peter Pan. Is that all? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. It doesn't matter. Where do you live? Second to the right and straight on till morning. <laughs> what a funny address. No, it isn't. I mean, is that what they put on your letters? Don't get any letters. But. Your mother gets letters. Don't have a mother. Oh, Peter. You mustn't touch me. Why? No one must ever touch me. But why? I don't know. Well, no wonder you were crying. I wasn't crying because of that. But I can't get my shadow to stick on. It's come off. How awful. Why, Peter? You've been trying to stick it on with soap. Well then, it must be sewn on. What is sewn? You're dreadfully ignorant. No, I'm not. I shall have to sew it on for you, my little man. Thank you. I dare say it might hurt just a little bit. I never cry. It isn't quite itself yet. Perhaps I should have ironed it first. Lindy, look! My shadow! My very own shadow! But it's only a shadow. Yes, but it's all mine. Oh, I'm clever. Oh, the cleverness of me. Oh, of course. I did nothing. You're conceited. Conceited? Not me. It's just that I am what I am, and I'm me. When I look at myself, and I see in myself all the wonderful things that I see, if I'm pleased with myself, I have every good reason to be. I got a crow. <laughs> I'm just the cleverest that much was ever my fortune to know. <laughs> Try to trick to my shadow to stick to the tip of my toe. I gotta grow. I gotta brag. I think it's sweet. I have fingers and feet. I can wiggle and wag. I can climb trees and play tag with the breeze in the meadows below. I gotta grow. Such a fair thing, I can't keep still. I'm bursting with pride, and I just couldn't keep it inside. Naturally, <laughs> when I discover the cleverness of a remarkable me, <laughs> how can I hide it when deep down inside it just
this tickles me so that I gotta let go and Shall I give you a kiss? If you please. Oh, a button. Well, Peter, I will wear it on this chain around my neck. Peter, how old are you? I don't know. I ran away from home the day I was born. Ran away? Why? I heard my father and mother talking of what I was to be when I became a man. And I want to always be a little boy and to have fun. So I ran away, and I've lived a long time among the fairies. Fairies? You really know fairies? Yes, but they're nearly all dead now. Oh, why? You see, Wendy, when the very first baby was born and laughed for the very first time, that laugh broke into a thousand pieces and they all went skipping about. And that was the beginning of fairies. So now, every time a new baby is born, its first laugh becomes a fairy. So there ought to be a fairy for every boy or girl. Ought to be, isn't there? Oh no, children know such a lot now that every time a child says, I don't believe in fairies, there's a fairy somewhere that falls down dead. Oh, poor Fage. You know, I can't think of where she's gone to. Tinkerbell, Tink! Peter, you don't mean to tell me that there's a real live fairy in the room with us now? She came with me. Wendy, I do believe I've shut her up in that drawer. Well, you needn't say that. Well, I'm very sorry. How could I have known you were in that drawer?
Tink, this girl wishes you were her fairy. What does she say? She's not very polite. She says you're a great ugly girl and she's mine. Tink, you know you can't be my fairy because I'm a gentleman and you're a lady. What did she say? She said, you silly ass. She's quite a common girl, you know. It's all right, Peter. She's chained up. Peter, where do you live? Way out there. How do you find your way home? You just follow the golden arrows. Where do they lead to you? It's a secret place. Please, please tell me. Would you believe me if I told you? I promise, I promise. For sure? For sure! I have a place where dreams are born and time is never planned. It's not on any chart. You must find it with your heart. Never, never land. It might be miles beyond the moon or right there where you stand. Just keep an open mind and then suddenly you'll find never, never land. You'll have a treasure if you stay there. More precious for Like Peter? It's an island, Wendy. A large one? No, it's quite small and nicely crammed with little space between one adventure and another. And it's summer and winter and spring and fall all at the same time on different parts of the island. Oh, I wish I could see it. You can. Just squeeze your eyes tight. Yes. Now what do you see? I see a pool of lovely pale colors. Squeeze them tighter. Yes. And then the pool will take on different shapes, and the colors will become brighter. Yes! So bright that in a moment, they'll catch on fire. And in that moment, just before they do, I see it! I see it! That's it! That's my island, Wendy! You'll have a treasure if you stay there. More precious far than gold. For once you have found your Neverland? Who else lives there with you? The Lost Boys. Who are they? They're the children who fall out of their prams when the nurse is looking the other way. If they aren't claimed in seven days, they're sent far away to Neverland. I'm Captain. Oh, what fun it must be. Yes, but we're rather lonely. You see, Wendy, we have no female companionship. 
Are none of the others girls? Oh no, girls are much too smart to fall out of their prams. Oh Peter, it is perfectly lovely the way you talk about girls. You may give me a kiss. I thought you might want it back. Oh, no, Peter, I, I didn't mean a kiss. I meant a thimble. What's that? It's like this. Ow! What is it? It felt just like someone were pulling my hair. That's Tink. I never knew her so naughty before. What did she say? She said uh, she will do that to you every time I try to give you a kiss. Why? Why, Tink? She said, you silly ass again. She's very impertinent. Peter, why did you come to our nursery window? To hear the stories. None of us knows any stories. Oh, how perfectly awful. Oh, Wendy, your mother was telling such a lovely story. What was it about? It was about the prince, and he couldn't find the lady who had the glass slipper. Oh, that's Cinderella. Peter, he found her, and they lived happily ever after. I'm glad. Well, Peter, where are you going? To tell the other boys. Oh, but I know lots more stories. Do you? Oh, all of the stories I could tell the boys. Come on, we'll fly. Peter, you can really fly? Oh, Wendy, please come with me. How we should all respect you. You could tuck us in at night and make pockets for us. None of us has any pockets. Oh, how fascinating. Would you teach John and Michael how to fly too? If you like. John, Michael, wake up. There's a boy in our nursery who's going to teach us how to fly. There is? Then I'll get up at once. <laughs> Quick, fight! someone's coming. Shh. Nana, you'll wake up the kids. There. You see, they are perfectly safe and sound asleep in their beds. <laughs> Now no more. Come along, you naughty, naughty dog. All clear. Oh, come on. Can you really fly? I'll teach you. Oh, how lovely to fly. I'll show you how to jump on the wind's back, and away we'll go. Go! Wendy, when you're laying in your silly bed, you might be out flying about with me, saying funny things to the stars. But how do you do it? You just think lovely, wonderful thoughts, and up you go! Oh, how sweet! I'm sweet, I'm sweet! I'm flying! 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 Look at me, way up high, suddenly, here am I, I'm flying! I'm flying! I can soar, I can weave, and what's more, I'm not even trying. High your bent as light as I can be. I must be a sight, lovely to see. I'm flying, 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 flying. Nothing will stop me now, higher still. Look at how I can zoom around. Up the ground, I'm flying. I fly and I'm all over the place. You try and you fall flat on your face. I'm flying, 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 flying. Over bed, over chair, duck your head through the air. Oh, what lovely fun! Watch me, everyone. Take a look at me and see how easily it's done. I'm flying. Want to learn how? Yes, yes, Peter, yes. First, I must blow.
blow the fairy dust on you. Our flight to Neverland will take about 15 minutes, so if you'd like, you can now have a 15 minute intermission.
Office Max keeps us on the ball. With Tech to Train Anywhere, I can see the whole thing. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. So you have how many brothers? Twelve older brothers. Three of them pretended I was invisible, literally, for two years. It's horrible. <laughs> it's what brothers do. And sisters. Elsa and I were really close when we were little, but then one day she just shut me out, and I never knew why.
I think I heard something. <laughs> Has Peter come back yet slightly? No, Pan. I wish Peter would come back. So do we. I'm always scared of the pirates and Indians when Peter isn't here to protect us. I wonder what's taking him so long. Maybe he's waiting to hear the end of Cinderella. Cinderella? Not knowing anything about my own mother, I am fond of thinking she is just like Cinderella. My mother was fonder of me than all your mothers were of you. No, she wasn't. Yes, she was. Peter Pan had to make up names for all of you, but not for me. My mom had my name wrote in the clothes I was lost in. Slightly soiled. That was my name. <laughs> I in the first crack would bring Tiger Lily's Indians upon us. Do you want to lose your scalps? That is true, Captain. So shall I after him and tickle him with my Johnny Corkscrew? Johnny's a silent fellow. Not now, Smee. He's only one. And I want to mischief all of them. They must live around here somewhere. Scatter and look for them. Most of all, I want their captain, Peter Pan. Twas he who cut off me arm. Ay, me, I've waited long to shake hands with him with this. Oh, I'll tear him. Yet, I have oft heard you say that your hook is worth a score of hands for combing hair and other homely uses. Ay, me, if I were a mother, I'd pray me children be born with this instead of that. But Pan flung me hand to a crocodile that happened to be passing by. I have often wondered your strange dread of crocodiles. Not of crocodiles, but of that one croc. He liked the taste of me hands so much, he's followed me ever since. From land to land, from sea to sea, he follows the ship, licking his lips for the rest of me. In a way, it's a sort of compliment. Well, I want no such compliments. I want Peter Pan, who first gave the brute his taste for me. I me, that croc would have got me long or this if he could have crept upon me unawares. But by some lucky chance, he swallowed a clock. A clock? And it goes on within him. Tick, tock, tick. And so, before he can reach me, I hear the tick and bolt! I once heard it strike six within him. You know, Captain, one day that clock will wind down and he'll get you. Aye, that is the fear that haunts me. Oh! Oh, oh. What is the matter? That seat, it's very hot. Odds, bobs, hammers, and tongs are burning! me help me a chimney peter and the boys must be living underground listen they say that peter pan is away from home call back the band I must think, 
inspire me. Play, you dogs! What tempo, Captain? Tempo, tempo. A tango! A tango! <laughs> Unwhip your plans, Captain. To cook a cake quite large and fill each layer in between with icing mixed with poison till it turns a tempting green. We'll place it near the house just where the boys will come. And being greedy, they won't care to question such a plum. The boys who have no mother's feet, no one to show them their mistake, won't know it's dangerous to eat. So dab and rich a cake and smile before the winking of an eye. Those boys will eat that poison cake and one by one, ha -ha, they'll die. Oh, wait. Marvelous grand captain. Thank you. Thank you. Horrid little boy. The cock. The cock. How do you know? I hear him ticking. Protect me, Smee. Protect me. Don't leave me, Captain! Don't leave me! I do wish Peter were here. What's that? It's so quiet. Shh! Making too much noise. Listen to Tiger Lily. When on your path, Wig wig wig
white bird. against this. It's a kiss I gave her. I remember a kiss. Let me see. Ah, uh, that's a kiss. Are you asleep, Wendy? Don't you want to get up and play? What shall we do with Wendy? How about let's drag her to the house? No! You mustn't touch her. That wouldn't be sufficiently respectful. I know. We'll build a house around her! A house! I have a plan. We'll need lots of wood. A house. Need lots of leaves. Need lots of paint. Hush. 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 Let's be quiet as a mouse and build a lovely little house for Wendy. All for Wendy, she's come to stay. We have a mother, at last we have a mother. Home sweet home upon the wall, a welcome mat down on the hall for Wendy. So that Wendy won't go away. And she our mother, at last we have a mother. Oh, what pleasure she'll bring to us, make us pockets. And sing to us, tell us stories we've been longing to hear. Over and over, she'll be waiting at the door. We won't be lonely anymore since Wendy. Lovely Wendy is here to stay and be our mother. At last we have a mother.
what pleasure she'll bring to us, make us pockets, and sing to us, tell us stories we've been longing to hear. Over and over, she'll be waiting at the door. We won't be lonely anymore since Wendy. Lovely Wendy. She'll be our mother. It's nice to have a mother. Wendy's here to stay. Wendy, lady, for you we have built this house. Say that you're pleased. Lovely, darling house. And we're your children. Oh, Wendy, lady, be our mother. Oh, of course, I would love to be your mother, provided Peter be the father. All right, as long as it's only make believe. Yeah. that this cake is much too damp and too rich for you all to eat. Now, go inside the house, but just before we go to bed, I'll have just enough time to finish the story of Cinderella. Yay! <laughs> the game is up. Those boys have found a mother. Ah! What's a mother? Not now, Smee. I must think. <clears throat> what tempo, Captain? A tarantella. A tarantella! Methinks I see a spark, a gleam, a glimmer of a plan with which perhaps I may redeem me honor as a man. Kidnap Wendy, seize the boys, and you'll have hope to thank. For when the time is ripe, you'll see the children walk the plank. Oh, when was such a princely plot concocted by another to murder all the boys and keep the Wendy for a mother? To the ship, 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 to the
Huggle Wug a Feather. Huggle Wug a Feather. Bloody Buccaneers and each other. We had the Corinthians kill it over us. Hated a captain hook. Indians, pursue them. Are you ready for today's lesson, boys? Yes, dear! Then listen to your teacher. Repeat after me. I won't grow up. I won't grow up. I don't want to go to school. I don't want to go to school. Just to learn to be a parent. Just to learn to be a parent. And recite a silly rule. And recite a silly rule. If growing up means it would be beneath my dignity to climb a tree, I'll never grow. Not I. Not me. Not, Not me. me. I won't grow up. I won't grow up. I don't want to wear a tie. I don't want to wear a tie. Or see your expression. Or see your expression. In the middle of July. In the middle of July. And if it means I must prepare to show the burdens with a word we did. I'll never grow up. Never grow up. Never grow up. Not me. Not I. Never gonna be a man. I won't like to see somebody try and make me anyone who wants to try and make me turn into a man. Can't see you again. I won't grow up. I won't grow up. Not a penny will I pinch. Not a penny will I pinch. I will never grow a mustache. I will never grow a mustache. Or a fraction of an inch. Or a fraction of an inch. Cause growing up is awful. Peter tells me. I will do what Peter tells me. And I'll never ask him why. And I'll never ask him why. We won't grow up. We won't grow up. We will never grow a day. We will never grow a day. And if someone tries to make us, and if someone tries to make us, we will simply run away. We will simply run away. I won't grow up. I won't grow up. No, I promise that I won't. No, I promise that I won't. I will be a boy forever. I'll be a boy forever. And be banished if I don't. And be banished. No, sir. Not me. Tree. We will leave her here for the wolves. Her tree with her mate. Not so rough, Stokey. Roughish, but not so rough. Poor Tiger Lily. What was that? Uh, ahoy there, you lubbers! It is the captain. He must be close by. We tied her to the tree, Captain. Set her free. But, Captain. Cut her bonds or I'll plunge me hooking you. Better do as the captain orders. Aye, aye, captain. Ahoy there. It is the captain. Captain, is all well? All is very well. Where's the warrior? We set her free. Set her free. Twas your orders. You called us to let her go. 
Primstone and Gore, what causing is here? Spirit that haunts this dark force tonight, <coughs> dost hear me? Odds, bonds, hammer and tongs, I hear you. Speak, stranger. Who are you? I am Hook. Hook. Captain of the Jolly Roger. But if you are Hook, then who am I? A codfish. <laughs> A codfish. <laughs> have, have we been captained the entire time by a codfish? <laughs> it's only to our pride. Don't desert me, you bullies! Speak, stranger. Have you another name? Yes. Is it vegetable? No. Mineral? No. Animal? Yes. Ah, have you another voice? Yes! La la, la la, la la, la la, la It's a lady. It's a beautiful lady. Oh, my mysterious lady. What is your name? Oh, my mysterious lady, from whence have you came? Answer my plea, who may ye be? Mysterious lady, what is your name? Take off that veil and let me see your face. Why hide your beauty beneath that ton of lace? Take off that veil and let me see your face. Why hide your beauty beneath that ton of lace? Take off your veil and let me see your face. Why hide your veil? What's your secret? <laughs> Tell your secret. <laughs> speak, go oh speak, oh speak, I pray you. Tell me, oh tell me your name. Oh, boy. Madonna Mia.
Supper again. Another long day at the forest. Oh, mother, dinner was so lovely. Strawberry shortcake, lemon meringue pie, and fudge for dessert. Oh, yes. Well, I do believe in a well balanced diet. Now, go straighten up the house. Aww. Tinkerbell! Is your room straightened up? Tinkerbell, I will not go home. Peter needs me. Well, Tinkerbell, why can't we talk about this like normal civilized human beings? Now that we're finished, will you tell us a story? Very well. Tell us the story of Cinderella. Well, the prince found her and... And... And they lived happily ever after. Yay! Will you tell us the end of Sleeping Beauty? Sleeping Beauty? Well, the prince woke her up and... And... And they lived happily ever after. Yay! And what about Hamlet? Hamlet? Well, the prince Hamlet died, and the king died, and the queen died, and Polonius died, and Orphelia died, and Laertes died, and... And? Well, the rest of them lived happily ever after. Yay! Now, no more stories until your father gets home. We're friends now. Friends? Yes. I saved Tiger Lily's life in the forest, and she saved my life. Peter Pan is the sun and the moon and the stars. Yes, I know. Now, shake hands with your new brothers. Go on, let's make two tribes into one. There's just one thing to do. I'll just send for Tiger Lily. I'll just send for Peter Pan. We'll be coming really, really, really. Beat on a drum. And I will come. Brave noble warrior. I go up, I go up, There's just one thing to do. I'll just send for Tiger Lily. We'll just send for Peter Pan. We'll be coming willy nilly lily. Send up a flare, and I'll be there. You know you really got a friend. A friend. We'll be true blood brothers to the end. I got a quad. I got a quad. I got a quad.
us. Ow! If the pirates get you and you took away by Captain Hook, ah! what do we do? I'll just send for Tiger Lily. I'll just send for Peter Pan. We'll be gone and willy nilly lily. Send up a flare and I'll be there. You know you really got a friend. Ah! We'll be true. children to sleep after all this excitement we go now watch for pirates keep guard <laughs> Now, go make your father comfortable. Here's your chair, father. Here's your paper, father. Here's your pipe, father. Here are your slippers, father. Go wash up. It's your bedtime. They are sweet, aren't they, Peter? There's nothing better than sitting by the fireside with the little ones hey, close by, Mother. A little dust noise there. <laughs> Peter, My what is it? I was just thinking, Wendy. It's only pretend, isn't it? That I'm their father? Well, of course, but they're ours. Both yours and mine. But not really. Well, no, not if you don't wish it. I don't. Peter, what are your exact feelings for me? Those of a devoted son, Wendy. I thought so. You're so strange. Tinkerbell is just the same. She says there's something she wants to be to me, but it's not my mother. I almost agree with her. We're all ready for bed now, Mother. I even brushed my teeth. Well then, in you go. Peter? Do you know any lullabies that you could sing to our children? A lullaby? A lullaby? I think so. Sometimes, late at night, I seem to remember. time and long ago I heard someone singing soft and low now when day is done and night is near I recall that song I used to hear My child, my very own, don't be afraid, you're not alone. Sleep until the dawn, for all is well. Long ago this song was sung to me. Just a distant memory Somewhere from my past I used to know Once upon a time And long ago Wendy, I'm homesick I want to go home Yes, 
We must go home. Perhaps mother's in half mourning by now. Yes, we must. Peter, I appeal to you to make the necessary arrangements. If you like. Tink, you are to get up at once and take Wendy on a trip across the sea. Dear ones, I am almost sure that if you all come with us, then my parents would adopt you. Yay! Peter, can we go? All right. Yay! 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 Well then, go pack up your things, but don't, don't forget to bring the baby clothes that you were lost in. Peter, I'm going to give you your medicine before the journey. Peter, go pack up your things. I'm not going with you, Wendy. Yes, Peter. No. Why not? I don't want to grow up and learn about sawing things. I just want to always be a little boy and to have fun. No one's going to catch me and make me a man. We're all ready to go now, Peter. Peter's not coming with us. What? what? Huh? Then, Peter, we won't leave you. That's all right. <laughs> if you find your mothers, I hope you like them. Now then, no fuss, no blubbering. Just say goodbye. <laughs> It's over. But who won? If the Indians have won, they will beat on the Tom Tom. Listen. The Tom Tom, an Indian victory. Yay! Yay! It is perfectly safe now, Wendy. Tiger Lily will escort you through the forest as flying tires you so. Goodbye, boys. La la la. Peter, that's your medicine, you know. I won't forget it. Peter, if you come for me once a year, I, I'll do your spring, spring cleaning. Will you come? If you like. Peter, if another little girl comes along, one younger than I, you won't forget. Oh, Peter, I wish I could just take you up and squidge you. I know, Peter. Goodbye. Wendy! Take them to the ship. The boys we will make walk the plank, and Wendy will be our mother. 
What about Peter? This is for Peter. Poison. Aye, ah, he's doomed. The Indians were defeated, and the pirates captured Wendy and the boys? I'll save her! I'll save her! Oh, that's just my medicine. Poisoned? Nonsense! Who could have poisoned it? I promised Wendy to take it, and I'm going to do so just as soon as I've sharpened my dagger. Why, Tink, you've drunk my medicine! It was poisoned? And you drank it to save my life? Did you say you could get better if? <coughs> if? <coughs> if? If what, Tink? If children believed in fairies? Do you believe? Oh, please believe! If you believe, clap your hands! Clap until you hear you! Clap! Clap! Don't let Tink die! Don't let her die! Clap! Keep clapping! That's it! That's it! She's getting better! The light's getting stronger! Clap! Clap! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Oh, she's all better now! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Uh, come on, Tink! Let's go see Wendy!
still the night is. Nothing sounds alive. Now is the hour when children in their homes are abed, their lips bright brown with good night chocolate, and their tongues drowsily searching for belated crumbs, housed insecurely upon their shining cheeks. Compare with them the captive children on this boat. Split me infinitives, but tis me hour of triumph. Peter killed at last, and all the boys about to walk the plank. At last I've reached me peak. I'm the greatest villain of all time. Who was Bluebeard? No. Who was Nero? No. Who was Jack the Ripper? No. Nobody. Who's the swiniest swine in the world? Captain Hook! Captain Hook! Who's the dirtiest dog in this wonderful world? Captain Hook! Captain Hook! Captain of villainy, murder and loot. Eager to kill any who says that his hook isn't cute. It's cute! Who's the slimiest rat in the pack? Captain Hook! Captain Hook! Who's unlovable? You! Who's unlivable? You! Whose existence is just unforgivable? You! Who would stoop to the lowest and cheapest of tricks in the book? Tricks in the book! Slimy! Slimy! envy me, yet better perhaps for a hook to have had less ambition. Oh, fame, fame, thou glittering bauble, in searching for thee, what fame have I not lost? No little children love me. I'm told they play at Peter Pan, and the strongest always chooses to be Peter. They force the baby to be hook. The baby, that's where the canker gnaws. I'm told they find me lovable. How am I supposed to break it to him that they find him lovable? No! By carbonate of soda, no. Not even. All in one piece? Hooray! Who's the swiniest? Swine! The doggiest? Doggiest! The swiniest? Swine! Who's the creepiest creep in the world? Captain Hook! Captain Hook! Who's insensible? You! Reprehensible? You! Whose behavior is just indefensible? You! Who's the crawlingest, cruelest, crummiest, crookedest crook? Crookedest crook, what a prize, what a joy! Mrs. Hook's little baby boy, the surge of the sea! Just little old me. Captain Hook! 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 All the prisoners chained. Aye, aye, Captain. All the little birdies in their cage. Then take them to the plank. <laughs> now then, most of you are about to walk the plank. But I have room for two more cabin boys. Which of you will it be? You see, sir, I don't think my mother would like me to be a pirate. Slightly, do you think your mother would like you to be a pirate? No, Pans. My mother wouldn't like me to be a pirate. Pots, would your mother like you to be a pirate? I don't think so. Nibs, would you- Stow that gab! You, you look as though you had a little pluck in you. 
Didst ever dream of becoming a pirate, me hearty? What would you call me if I did join? Blackbeard Joe. Ah! Ah! Can I still be faithful to the flag? You'd have to swear. Down with the flag! Ah! Then I refuse! And I refuse! That seals your doom. Bring that mother! Well, me proud beauty, you're about to see your sons walk the plank. Are they to die? They are. <laughs> Silence! Silence all for a mother's last words to her sons. These are my last words. Thank I you. Tie her up and fetch the plank. <laughs> The sound is gone, Captain. The crock is no more. Thought I was scared, eh? How would you like a touch of the cat before you walk the plank? Fetch the cat, Jukes. It's in the cabin. me out that doodle do. No. Did you say you would go, Kecko? No. No. Ah! Ah! Stephen Oddfish, will no one fetch me out that doodle do? Wait till Kecko comes out. I think I heard you volunteer, Starkey. No, by thunder. Me hook thinks you did. I wonder if it would be advisable, Starkey, for you to humor me hook. I'll swing before I go in there. Is it mutiny? Then Starkey is the ringleader. Come on, Starkey. I want you to taste the hook. Come on, Starkey. Shake hands, Starkey. No. No! Did any other gentleman say mutiny? I'll go in and fetch out that doodle doo myself. <laughs> Something blew out the light. Something? What if Kecko? He's as dead as Bill. It's Hook's fault! Poor Kecko. It's Hook's fault. fault! Now, lads, here is a notion. Open the cabin door and drag them inside. Let them fight the doodle do. If he kills them, we are none the worse. And if they kill him, we are much so the better. The doodle do has killed them all. The ship's bewitched. The ship's bewitched. There's a Jonah aboard. Aye, it's the man with the hook. It's the, the man, man with, with the, the hook. hook. <laughs> no, lads, no. It's the girl. Aye, aye, it's the girl. Twas never luck on a pirate ship with a woman aboard. No, no, not with a woman aboard. 
Take her to the plank. To the plank! There's none can save you now, Missy. There is one. Who is that? Peter Pan the Avenger! So, Pan, this is all your doing. Aye, it is all my doing. Proud and imprudent youth, prepare to meet thy doom. Dark and sinister man, have at thee! <laughs> I say it though it was my last breath. It isn't fair. Tis some fiend fighting me. Pan, who and what art thou? I am youth, I am joy, I am freedom! Yeah! If I am to die, you'll all die with me. I'll light a bomb and blow the ship to pieces. Yeah! Us, Peter! Captain, we can talk Sorry. about this. In two minutes, this ship will be blown to pieces. Mercy! Back, back, you puling spawn! I'll show you now the road to dusty death. All the children to die. There's something grand to the idea. The crock! The crock! Pan, no words of mine can express me utter contempt for you. Ah! Things you can do. Ah. You 
You're getting warm, but your mouth should be forming a happier. <coughs> Don't be such a sissy, prim and prissy. Let out a crow. You've nothing to fear. Come and whisper it close in my ear. It's my heart to see you tuck in their beds night after night, but they'll never come back. Never. No, don't disturb the master. He uses your house as his home out of remorse. I'll wake him when it's time for dinner. noise there, please. A little less noise. Father, the children have come home. Michael, John, Wendy. Father! Who are they? There are a few more of us. Would you please adopt them? What? All of them? Please, Father! Well... What's a few more? Yay! Will you treat me with respect? Yes, sir! Let me have a little peace and quiet. We will always try to be so quiet, quieter than mice. Well, wouldn't that be nice? We will grow up, they will grow up. We will find our peace and cues, they will find their peace and cues. We will never be a bother, they will never be a bother. We will always try to choose. Oh, to think of all those shoes. Like me. Like I. 
Like me. Like me? Well, go on. Make yourselves at home. Peter, please don't forget to come for me. Please, please don't forget. He's not here now. Oh, is Michael asleep? No, that's not Michael. Is it a new one? Yes! Boy or girl? It's a girl. What's her name? Jane. Jane! Peter, are you expecting me to fly away with you again? Of course. That's why I came. I can't come. I've forgotten how to fly. I'll teach you again. Oh no, Peter. Don't waste your fairy dust on me. What is it? I'm old, Peter. I'm ever so much more than 20. I grew up a long time ago. But you promised not to! I couldn't help it. I'm a married woman now, Peter. No, you're not! You're not! Yes! And the little girl in that bed is my child. No, she's not! She's not! <laughs> Boy, why are you crying? Hello. Hello. I'm Peter Pan. Yes, I know. I came to take my mother back to Neverland. Yes, I know. I've been waiting for you. For me? Yes. Will you teach me how to fly? Do you know any stories? I know lots of stories. Will you tuck me in at night and bend my pockets for me? Oh, yes, Peter. Please take me with you. First. I must blow the fairy dust on you. Now, think lovely, wonderful thoughts, and up you go! How sweet! This sweet, this sweet! Look at me, Mommy! I'm flying! She's my mother now! Come on, Jane! No, no! It's just for spring cleaning! Peter always wants me to do a spring cleaning. Oh, if only I could go with you too. Kate, you see, Wendy? You're too grown up. Are you ready, Jane? Ready. Then come with me. Lovely things, and your heart will fly on wings forever. 